To the little dark air boy who played the Tennessee flat top box and he would play. Well, he couldn't ride or angle, and he never cared to make a dime, but give him his guitar, and he'd be happy all the time. Hey friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and I'm excited today to show you how to play the Johnny Cash song, Tennessee Flat Top Box. So this is obviously a great song. Um, it combines the best of Cash. You got some simple two chord verse strumming, which is fun to play and fun to sing, but you also have this really cool sort of country lick, which is a blast to play. You hear it in the intro, you hear it between each verse, and it's actually a lot more approachable and learnable than I thought it would be when I first sort of set out to learn this song. So I'm going to show you what you need to know, but let's get to that lesson. As always, check out my website, playsongnotes.com, to find the notes and tabs for this lesson outside of this video. But otherwise, let's get right to it, okay? First up, I have to say that you'll need a capo on the third fret if you want to play along with Johnny Cash's version of this song. Uh, so capo on the third fret, use the chords I'm gonna show you, okay? I'm gonna do no capo just because, you know, I like to play my guitar as it comes sometimes and you probably don't have a capo on right now, but just heads up if you wanna play along with the man in black, capo on the third fret, all right? So let's get to this. Now first up, I'm gonna go through the verse and the chords you'll need and the strumming you'll need really quick. And then I'm gonna get to the, to the riff you hear that's really a distinctive part of this song, okay? so this. Verse, you're only going to need two chords. You'll need a G chord. Okay, so third, second, open, open, third, third. Okay, or you can leave that B string open if you want. So it's third, second, open, 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 third. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you, however you want to play that. The other chord you'll need is a D, but I like to play a D7, which is open, second, first, second. Okay, so you just have the G. I actually prefer to play it like this, with my ring finger and middle fingers down here on the, the bassiest two notes. Number one, that makes going to the D7 easier, and number two, that makes actually transitioning into the sort of riff nice and easy too. I'll get to that later, but heads up, you'll need that G and a D7, okay? Now strumming, I prefer just to do a simple strum, a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, now I'll show you how that maps to the words in a second. But note, that's not exactly uh, the typical Johnny Cash strumming. You know, usually you have that boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, where you have the alternating bass notes. But I find that when you play in the key of G, it's hard to do those alternating bass notes in a way that sounds just like him. You could do. So basically what I'm doing there is kind of muting the strings by putting my fleshy part of my hand on the, you know, on this, the, near, near the saddle of the guitar, and I'm just sort of going between the bass note, the bottom two bass notes of each string, right, for each chord. Now, you can do this if you want. I don't prefer to do this when I play the song. It's up to you, okay? Now, however you want to strum, here's the verse chords uh, mapped with the lyrics. And basically, you're just going to be on G for, I think it's about four measures or so. So, in a little cabaret. In a South Texas border town sat a boy and his guitar And people came from miles around Okay, and you just use that for the entire verse. Now I recommend uh, following along, you know, get the printout if you can, follow along with these lyrics with the chords overlaid on top. And the reason why is some of these um, chord changes sound, seem like they happen at weird times. And for me, it's very helpful to see the chords on top of the words where you switch, okay? so. If you want to sing and play, I recommend doing that. But otherwise, that's all you're going to need. All three of the verses just use the G and the D7. You just go back and forth. So next, let's move on to the fun part of the lesson, which will be this riff that you hear in the intro and also in between each verse. Okay, now this riff basically looks like this. You're going to have first this part and then this part. Okay, I'll go back. To, I'll show you this first part first, and I'll show you the second part second, and you'll be uh, where you need to be to play to put it all together. But basically, it looks like it's about eight measures total, and I'm going to break this into phrases for you. Okay, so basically, 
I want you to put your hand in a G shape to start with because we're always gonna go into this riff from a G chord, especially after each verse, okay? And the first of the phrases is going to be using the two bass notes of the G chord. Okay, basically, you have your ring and middle fingers down there in those two notes. So that's the first phrase. We're basically gonna be on the third fret of the low E string and then open fifth, second fret on the fifth, and then third fret on the fifth string, okay? And when you sort of get that, I want you to play it over and over again if you can, like a circular pattern, right? And you're gonna notice the hard part here is really getting that ring finger back down to the low E string, getting it from the fifth string to the sixth string, okay? all down strums here but basically that's the first thing I want you to get comfortable with is just sort of playing that riff on repeat take it as slow as you need to okay and when you're done what we're gonna do is go into the second phrase and for the second phrase what I want you to do is uh, number one your ring finger is going to be on that third fret of the fifth string that's how the first phrase ends but I want you to sort of imagine your hands in a C position here okay C chord is third, second, open, first, open, okay? But basically I say that because the next couple notes are, it's basically the, the bassiest three strings of a C major chord. All right, so you get good at that. And then you add a little walk down, third, second, open, third, second, open on the fourth string, so. And again, practice that in repetition if you can. It'll get your muscles where they need to go. So those first two phrases together would look like this. two together, take it as slow as you need to, and then we're going to move on to the real cool distinctive part. So this next part, this is the end goal, is to be able to play this. Okay, so what we have there is a little uh, two string at a time thing going on here, where we're going to be on the fourth fret of the fourth string with our ring finger, and third fret of the third string with our middle finger. And basically we're gonna slide that up. So we end up on the fifth fret and fourth fret of the fourth and third string, okay? Now this is, getting this sort of finger position to start this riff was really tricky for me when learning this song. The way I think of it is you take a C chord, you take your bass notes, you know, ring finger, middle finger, you're gonna move them one string closer to the ground and then one fret higher, and that's your starting point, okay? Okay, and if you have a real hard time with this, just worry about your ring finger on the fourth fret. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is, so strum once and slide up, and then two more strums. I do a... So a down, down, end with an open fourth string down down up and notice what I'm doing there is I'm doing a down down up 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 okay okay and again practice that on repeat if you need to. And then the way that ends, after you do it twice, is we're gonna go from fifth to third to second to open on the fourth string. And if you can, slide up into that fifth note, that fifth fret note. Now what I like to do here is use my ring finger for the fifth fret, middle finger for the third fret, index finger for the second fret, 
open, and then ring finger again on this third fret of the fifth string, okay? So this whole sort of second four measures together would be So there we go. Okay, so that's how you play the second phrase. Now let's put it all together. I'm gonna to take it really slow. Okay, so that's how you put it all together. So now let's talk about in the song, what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna play that whole sequence twice. So that's all eight measures twice. So when you get to that last note, you're gonna start it over again immediately. Okay, so again, the end of the last phrase would be. And then you start it over, okay? That takes some practice. But what I wanna talk about here is after you play it twice through, how you end it is you're gonna be on that, that C bass note, and we're gonna then strum a full C chord. So bass note, strum. Again, bass note, strum. Bass note, strum. And then we're gonna walk down to a G, okay? So from a C, we're gonna go second fret on the fifth string, open on the fifth string, and then third fret on the low E string, and then strum a G. And then here, what we're gonna do is, talk about this. What's going on here is I'm playing a G and I really recommend playing it with your ring finger as the bass note and your middle finger obviously on the second fret of the uh, fifth string. But basically what we want to do is is on the fourth string, second fret, we want to use our middle finger here to go from second fret to open, second fret, open, second fret, open, and then back to the G bass note, strum. Now, the key here uh, that I found to make this easier is instead of just worrying about the fourth string, You actually can strum all the strings around it too. It's gonna to sound fine. It's a G chord, right? So down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay? So basically, what we're gonna do now is uh, let me play the whole sequence. After I play it the second time, I'm gonna end it with this ending I just showed you. All right, so here we go. Start it over. And then play the second ending. And then you go into the verse, okay? So in a little cabaret. So that's basically what you need for this main riff of the song. Now the key is take it as slow as you need to if you're having trouble with it, break it into phrases, okay? Now when you end each verse, the one thing I wanna say is basically we're gonna be on a D7 and say, to the little dark boy who played the Tennessee flat top box. Do a full strum of the G on the word box, okay? So you do that full strum of the G. So basically, we're gonna start the riff on and he will play. Okay, so again, that last line would be Do the little duck and boy who played the Tennessee flat top box and he would play. Tennessee flat top box and he would play. Okay, so that's how you're gonna transition into the riff from the verse, it's important to know, okay? And the last thing I'll teach you here is basically how the song starts. And it starts by doing this. We're basically gonna be on the second fret of the fourth string, and we're gonna go second fret, third fret, fourth fret. And I use my index middle ring, okay? And then we're gonna go right into that riff, this, this 
distinctive part. And then you go right to the second ending. Okay. Let me do it one more time. So that's what you need. You use that to start the song, then you go right into the verse, the first verse, then you do the main riff I showed you, then you do the second verse, do the riff, third verse, riff, and then you're good to go. So that's how you play this song. You know, I hope this lesson was helpful for you. Um, again, break things into phrases, take things slow if you're having a hard time, and remember, check out my website, playsongnotes.com, if you want to find the notes and tabs that I've written up for this lesson if you want to print them out or whatever. But thank you very much for watching. My name is David Potts. I love making these videos. I love Johnny Cash, perhaps most of all. But let me know what you found uh, helpful, any questions you have, and any requests that you might want to hear lessons for. But thank you very much. Have a great night. Pick up that guitar and play. Bye-bye. <laughs>